I get into Baltimore, bro, my overdrive was cool. We get there. He told me that I should walk to the game, so I walked to the game, man. Um, I got all my Texan shit on. I had a real big ass Texan jersey. Uh, I'm giving that jersey away if anybody wants a jersey. I don't know if you want. Why would you want it? But if you were size three X, I'm buying a jersey. I bought that jersey from the Houston Galleria the day before my flight. The dude in the store, the dude in the store was actually a viewer of Ricky. He was like, "Bro, this is the only one we got. This the only one we got, bro." All right. So boom, I was like, "Hi, right, bro. Fuck. Give give me the fucking jersey, bro. Damn." But Honestly, though, it's a good thing that I had that jersey and not nothing that was too smaller because if I tell you, bro, nigga, I had so many layers of clothes on, nigga. I had on a, like, like a small, like a thin version of a bubble coat. I had on a fucking uh, uncle vest. Nigga, I had on a, um, a sweater. Uh, I had on a lot of clothes. It was cold as fuck, nigga. In Baltimore, the time of the game when the game started, it was like 17 degrees and it was windy. It was OD, nigga. It was cute and cold, don't mix. Yeah, I'm like, fuck it. Like, it is what it is. Like, honestly, I was glad I got a big jersey, though. It, it kind of worked out. It kind of worked out. But um, but I didn't know to get no hand warmers. Bro, I'm from Texas, bro. Yo, I'm from Texas. Like, it's not that cold for me to, like, to think about that, though. Now, have I used hand warmers before? Yes. But it's been so long since I needed them. I fucking forgot about him for real. Like, and then nigga, no cap. I didn't even know they had foot warmers. Nigga, that you put in your feet. Nigga, oh God. I didn't know. I I ain't know, nigga. I, well, I'm from, I'm from Texas. My dumb ass went out there. My dumb ass went out there, nigga, in some Jordan 1. What them bitches at? Them niggas knew I wasn't from out there. Yo, 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 this dude see me, he said, nice shoes. I know your feet are fucked. I said, yeah. <laughs> my shit was done, nigga. Bro, my shit was done, bro. Oh, but anyway, so boom. We walk into the game. We talking to a bunch of, Ra I'm talking to a bunch of Ravens fans. They was all cool. Everybody on some friendly bands and shit. Um, what then happens is, I'm gonna play, play alerts in a second. What then happens is, I see a nigga selling shit. Why the fuck I bought uh, uh, some ski goggles? I don't know. I don't know why I bought ski goggles. Why I bought a shiesty mask? I don't know. I should have put the shiesty mask on, to be honest with you. But let me tell you what. My dumb ass wooed the shiesty wrong. Okay? Now, I'm so glad I didn't put the part of the video where I had the shiesty on. Because let me tell you what, nigga. I look stupid. Okay, I look dumb. My face was all puffed up. I'm, I'm wearing a shiesty like this. Like, nigga, niggas just look dumb. I didn't have that shiesty on for more than two minutes. I swear to God. I'm walking. I said, take this shit off. I swear to God. That's my first time ever putting on it. Show us no. It's not happening. It's not happening. How the fuck you put it on wrong? I'm not one of them niggas that be wearing them bitches. Absolutely, I flew in this morning. Y'all niggas not finna troll me with that. That's what we not finna do. All right? Now leave me the fuck alone. Now, boom, I'm gonna get to the reaction. I got y'all, I'm, I'm not gonna take too long, but I hope y'all enjoy the story time. So then what happened is we walked to the game. Everybody cool. Uh, I met one of my homies that I, that I knew from over there, chopped over him for a bit, got to my seat. Bro, I was the only Texan fan in my section and I'm not lying. I knew I was traveling solo, but I thought, and I knew, honestly, I didn't think a lot of Texan people was going to be at the game, but I didn't know how few niggas was going to be in my section. There was a decent amount of niggas, but none of them was in my section. Bro, I'm in this hole looking around like, damn, so if we win, these niggas might jump my ass. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, damn, I'm, I'm, I'm finna chill for my team. If we win, these niggas gonna jump me. Damn, this shit gonna be tough. I'm outnumbered. This is crazy. So, boom, the game start. I'm talking. It's a lot of niggas from Baltimore shit talking me. This, this is one nigga, dog. These yo, the Baltimore accent is so funny. Nigga kept yelling, "This Baltimore is stupid." I'm like, all right, nigga. What's up, nigga? Shit, we here, nigga. Fuck, is you talking about? It's Baltimore is stupid. Nigga kept yelling that shit. I'm like, all right, bet. Let's see how the game go. But let's play alerts and then then let's uh let's talk about how the game went. 
Yo, Colin, what up, gang? Starko just resubscribed for 33 months. After going into halftime tied 10 to 10, the Baltimore Ravens would proceed to score 24 unanswered points to advance to the AFC Championship and face the Chiefs. Is that necessary? 808 Sandronates just resubscribed for 32 months. Hey, no way. Thank you so much Stop for 32 months, keeping gang. your new music. When's yeah. that shit dropping, my nigga? I sent some to Jay Woods to be mixed. He's mixing it. Um, I'm, I'm a, Forever I 999 LLJW to me, I'm to cheered I'm Dex 100. Do, we'll I know you out. finna talk about your team, but fuck the crybaby ass Vikings fans, nigga. All on my timeline cry about the Lions, niggas mad they won the oh, division man. last year by luck Yo. and got one and done by the Giants. They got Daniel Jones paid. Stop yapping more hate later. You know what? You know, thank you. Hold on. R R Rashawn's right here. Ladies and gentlemen, he made his debut crossing a highway in good tray looking sassy today. How are you feeling? Yo, Rashawn, I did not I don't appreciate your intros. I gotta talk to you real quick. Why the fuck on all my intros you keep putting that fucking uh Brian Pumper King Diggling song whenever you intro on me in videos? I'm not fucking with it. Like, that's two intros. Two no and then the nigga gonna say the comment section tracks with his song. I never tell you to put no Brian Pumper music for my intro. Second of all, I never made no debut on, what was that, 1981? I'm not on Frogger, nigga. I'm not on Frogger, all right? You did, I did that, no, I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing, bro. Stop bapping, all right, bet, nigga. Now, this is, this is what I'm about to say. I got some slanders for a certain group of fans. Carolina Panthers fans, shut the fuck up. Hold on, nigga, I need, I need, I need. I gotta get my instrument. I gotta get my instrument back. It's been a while since we had this one. Carolina Panthers fans, shut the fuck up. Why are you niggas talking? Listen, this is a nigga I used to root for your team. No cap. You can even go to my Twitter mentions. I kind of fuck with y'all niggas. But y'all niggas are like y'all. Y'all niggas low key might be one of the most annoying group of niggas on the internet. How the fuck you suck so bad and you niggas is loud as fuck? Carolina Panthers fans, shut the fuck up. Every time CJ Stroud have a bad game, you see what you see what Bryce Young been going through all year, nigga. Fuck what you talking about, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Y'all niggas are annoying as fuck. I swear to God. Yo, I see niggas trying to push it on the timeline. Damn, CJ Stroud when he ain't got no checkdowns, pretty ass. Bitch, we bitch, he led the league and passed over 25 yards. You niggas is fucking trash. Carolina Pants, y'all niggas is getting on my fucking nerves. I'm so tired of seeing you niggas. Elon Musk is pushing you niggas my way. Y'all niggas is trash. Why is y'all niggas talking? And then, yo, if CJ Stroud was so ass, why y'all niggas trying to steal our offensive coordinator? You niggas want Bobby Slowick. Fuck is wrong with a Panther fan? Sit the fuck down, nigga. Your receiver is Mingo, nigga. He has a signature catch and it's not a good one. Fuck is going on? I'm tired of these, yo. I keep seeing these niggas, bro. I keep seeing no. And yo, also too, yo, to all of these niggas, your team was at home. Shut up. Your team was at home. Shut up. Real shit. Like it is so crazy. Like when the Texans lost. Don't get it wrong. I do realize, and I'm not blind though. The Texans got a lot of love right now. They do. They got a lot of love right now because it's it's no reason for people to hate CJ Stroud yet. They're gonna hate him. It's how it goes. Everybody love you in a minute, then they hate you the next, right? But what I did notice is, bro, the Texans and CJ Stroud was playing so well. Niggas was just waiting for a reason to just to just shit on us. Like, this nigga Trey just pissed me off. Yo, call me. Yo, call me. You're not one of the bad Panthers fans. Flame your niggas. I like Bryce Young. I hope y'all get this nigga some help. But these Panther niggas are deviants. These niggas is bad. They mad because they trying to shit on CJ Stroud because they wish they could they can go back and take him. All right. Now, um... Yeah, like, it was just so many niggas just waiting to shit on CJ Stroud in the Texas. I'm like, all right, it is what it is. Go, go crazy. Boom, let's finish these alerts. Duplex Thunder just resubscribed for five months. Keep up the good work, dog. CJ so Stroud only gonna get better TBH. Absolutely, I, I agree. I, I, I think so. I hope he does. I hope he does. 
Syracle underscore HMV just resubscribed for 14 months. Yo, I appreciate you. Thank you, uh, thank you so much for the big 14 months. I really appreciate you. Top tier ghetto streamer. Turn that damn fan off, nigga. No! You. <laughs> bro, it's hot, bro. It's hot, bro. Booker15 just why? subscribed. Turn it off. No, bro. If I only do it, it's only gonna be a 15 minute stream. I ain't fucking. Just wanted to thank the Lord for answering my prayer from last week when I said the Texans need to lose. Like they always say, the Lord never leave a prayer unanswered. First of all, I want to thank the Ravens for handling business. Flock Nation, stand up. Nigga, ain't you a Broncos fan? Nigga, why is a Bronco fan talking to me, nigga? Shut up and wait for Sador, nigga. Sador is still in Boulder, nigga. He's not in Denver. I don't want to hear nothing from a Bronco fan when you niggas about to get sued by your starting quarterback because you wanted that nigga to get a discount after y'all gave him the money. You niggas got Bounty Gate as your head coach, nigga. Why is a Bronco County nigga talking to me, man? Nigga better leave me alone, man. Nigga here, bro. God damn, boy. All right, shout out to the Broncos, though. All right, let's keep going. Like nigga, what song you want, gang? I got you. I can sing for you. No, you know what? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not picking. I'm not picking this song for you. <laughs> nah, you gonna let it go? just resubscribed yo, yo, for 28 months. So 28 CJ, months, that one. Yo, CJ's like that, bro. He had a go, yo great year, bro. Great year, bro. Chill, uh, bro. Like, I'm, bro. I'm in a good mood today, bro. I'm in a real good mood, man. Is that it? All right, see any the alerts? Let's watch the game, bro. Let's talk about it. Let's do it. And hey, we're going to watch the other game, too. The other games. All right. Boom. But we're going to start with the Texans, man. <sighs> the run is finally over. Let's do it. Is the most targeted guy for Baltimore, and it's continued throughout the entire season. Not Mark Andrews, who's not playing, but Zay Flowers. And there he is. First down, Baltimore on the catch over the middle. Again. Hey, Ravens fans, I told you I got nothing but respect for y'all. Just know. I have respect for y'all. Get this Zay Flowers shit out of here. All right? Today, I got a whole lot of chicken to do with niggas. The Texans don't want Zay Flowers, my nigga. I see niggas, yo, should have drafted Zay. Should have drafted. Shut up, nigga. No, nigga, we good. Hey, I'm fine with Tank. I'm fine with Tank. Huh, nigga, get Zay. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Cool with that nigga, man. All right? Anyway, Zank over Tank, boy, go to nigga, nigga. Uh, you say Zay over Tank, nigga, boy, nigga, boy, you better go look at Tank numbers at, at, at the time that he played. Nigga, stop. Go look at Tank numbers at the time that he played. Don't do that. Don't do that. Black Dashy, what's wrong with you? Gain of eight. Play clock at one. Yeah, I said Zank, my bad. Jackson in the pocket, over the middle, delivers a strike. This time it's Odell Beckham for 13. You'll see how many catches did Odell get? I'm being dead ass, but when you're in a stadium, it's certain things that you don't notice. Like sometimes you might not notice a nigga having a really shitty game the way you do on TV. You just thinking like, God damn, we playing bad. Oh no, you gotta you gotta chill. I'm live. It's that time. Hold on, let me see the text. Um, one, I knew it. Bro, I'm over here. I'm like, God damn, nigga, did Odell play? Play Odono? Hold on, hold on. I'm like, nigga, did Odell play? What the fuck? <laughs> so, yeah, one catch. Yo, come on, bro. All right, keep going. See the read option, and more times than not, they ran it out of there. As he flings it to Bateman and short of first down yardage. <laughs> Steven Nelson with a strong play on the edge, a gain of nine to force this Justin Tucker attack. Oh, my God. If y'all watched my video, nigga, I, I was thinking, I was like, damn, they moving the ball their first drive. I said, oh, I said, bro, thank God, bro. I said, they was moving the ball, but at least they finna punt it. I see this motherfucker, Justin Tucker, get off the bench and start walking on the field. I said, is that Tucker coming in? 
I said, God damn this far. I I hate this nigga. Hey bro, you stop these niggas. This is why the, this is why the Ravens is so good. You stop these motherfuckers. 53 yards. This and it's windy. This nigga gets off the bench. All right, bro. And it's a long one. 53 yards on a wind. Look at this day. nigga. He's so good. Nigga, is that Jesus? And it's a long one. 53 yards on a wind. What the fuck? Nigga, they had Martin Luther King and Jesus in the Ravens Stadium, bro. We, we was destined to lose, bro. Nigga said it's stupid. Windy day. He's so good. Ravens playing without their top corner, Marlon Humphrey, as well. What are we doing? Third and ten. Group. Here's Collins trying to make Stone miss. He does. Shout out to Nico. Nico didn't have the biggest day. I wonder how many catches he had. Yo, oh my God. I'm not gonna keep playing this music. If but if I give slander to everybody else, I'm gonna give slander to us. Let me tell you what. I hate Twitter, Twitter sports fans. Texas fans, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Oh my fucking goodness. All of you niggas, CJ Stroud with a true number one will feed families. Bitch, you niggas was not saying Nico Collins was not a number one receiver when he killed the Colts. When he was balling last week versus the Browns. When he had a thousand yards receiving. Shut the fuck up saying CJ Stroud don't got a number one receiver. Does he need more receiver help? Yes, he does. But shut the fuck up. First of all, Nova, what's going on? I see you in the chat. I'm sorry you came in mid-rage. But Texas fans, shut the fuck up. Y'all niggas is annoying. Y'all niggas want everybody. And all you niggas saying that y'all want all these receivers? No, nigga, I don't want A.J. Brown on the fucking Texans. And I'm being honest, I don't even want Mike. Shout out to Mike. Mike Cole, you a thousand yard receivers every year. The nigga is about to be 30 something on 30 mil. What are you fucking crazy? No. Why would you do that? Like, there's so many niggas. Y'all play too much Madden. Y'all play too much Madden. Delete Nova coming. What did Nova say? She said, hello with a smile. Guapo. Stop deleting Nova's comments, you hating ass nigga. Stroud, Schultz didn't drop Schultz. that one. Dalton Schultz. I do want the Texans to bring you back. Dalton Schultz had a decent game. He had a decent year. I don't, if we can't get you for another deal, Dalton Schultz, I'm fine with the Texans letting you walk. Now I understand this nigga timed out Nova, but if you, right, I'm, I'm, I'm about to get this nigga. No, no, I'm gonna get him for you. I understand that he's CJ Stroud's favorite target, but boy, the way he been dropping passes lately, you're getting on my fucking nerves. Of this Houston team playing this playoff game on the road. Third down and 13 now. Out of the pocket. Damn, 58, Stroud big as hell. Incomplete for Collins. Fairbairn. This used to be my favorite place. They keep top. Yo, Nova, I got you, Nova. Oh, he timed Nova out again. You know what, Nova? Nova, Nova, Nova that's how you know I fuck with you, bro. Guap, go ahead and hold that, man. Hey, Guap, go, go ahead and hold that, Nova. Nova, look, Nova, this is a safe place, man. Free my nigga Nova, bro. Promote, there you go, Nova, I got you. There you go. This damn deviant, I got him, bro. Unhand him, you thug. Hey, we'll take Schultz, bro. Listen, I know that sound good, but Schultz don't block. He not the fastest, but he'll get open. But listen, he gonna drop some balls, bro. Jackson has to go. Look at this nigga. And boy, when he goes, he goes right up the middle of the field. First time watching Lamar in person, this nigga elite. Types of runs elite, bro. Continues. Petrie coming on a blitz again. Jackson steps up. Zay Flowers with a catch. And a first down. Yeah, that's those guys have got to be able to hold the point in the middle. And they are nowhere to be found here. The way they were running the ball. The first down. Third down and five. Jackson, first down. Damn, this is my first time watching like a lot of these highlights. I did get a, a few of them when I watched the video, but I ain't watch them. Listen, nigga, what is Guapo? He got he on his other account. 
Listen. Looking at it from this perspective is different, bro. This nigga Lamar was like that in person. Oh my God, bro. Inside the five near the two. They fake it to Edwards and now complete it to- How did they score this? Was it a pick? They fake it to Edwards. That nigga said a fucking pick. Yo, get rid of pick plays, bro. I hate them bitches. This nigga didn't run a real route at all, bro. This nigga. Hey, bro. <laughs> this nigga did not run a real route at all. He literally just picked him. Like, that's fucking pass interference, my nigga. Like, this is not a real route. But whatever, though. Whatever. Good play, though. And now completed to Good play, though. for the touchdown. I promise you, the Ravens won. They're a better team. I'm not salty at all. But it's my first time seeing why he scored. That nigga didn't run a real route at all, bro. In his ninth. And Guapo timed out. Guapo! How your old account still modded? Oh, let me get this nigga. Has his first let me get this nigga. Career playoff touchdown. Has to feel good. Crowd here loves it. Ravens up seven. You can't have two mod accounts, nigga. Getting out, just trying to do what they can. Wow. Nothing here. Look at they, bro. They, they defense, bro. They was cooking, bro. Van Noy made the play on single. Free time. Nova. Now, baby, false start. <laughs> Yo, Mons, can one of y'all please free my dog Nova, Nova bro? Next nigga to the time, Nova, I get in a thousand. I got a Nova. Trouble. Nova good right now. Still going. Look at this shit. Finally brought down by Christian Harris. Hey, Christian Harris, you had a solid game, bro. You had you had you had a cool you had a cool game, bro. Yeah, there was a lot of plays that were close to being something big. But they oh my God, this right here. Here's Sims. This right here, I, I was not expecting this. Right up the middle. Still going. Nigga, he's not returned punts all year. We got yo shout out to the Texans special team. I think we just signed him off the practice team. Bro, the Texans, I think we had four, four returns for touchdowns this whole year. I know we had one from our fullback, one from, um, one from, uh, from, what's that nigga name, bro? 31. From Pierce and then Sims. Bro, we balled, bro. Steven Sims, Sims was a good year. Good night. He is gone. No flags. Touchdown, Texans. I just say hi and nothing else. Damn. <laughs> Sixty-seven yards and only Jordan Stout in the middle. Bubble, get your hate dance on, nigga. Here. He was the only one. He did the best he could. He's right there in the. This was our only touchdown of the day. But let me tell you what. The first half, the Texans had niggas shook. And I know niggas in here, y'all gonna say, well, I don't know what y'all gonna say. Some niggas gonna be like, I don't, nah, hell nah, you tripping, what, what? The Texans first half, if I tell you how that stadium, if I yelled FOT, you would have heard me on TV. You hear me? Quiet in that bitch. Y'all ain't even scored a touchdown. You wasn't there, nigga. I, I'm gonna give you the experience. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what's going on. Quiet in that motherfucker. Defense started to clamp up towards the end of the end of the first quarter. It was it was quiet. What really took the life out of us, bro? It started when we missed. I'm a, oh, I'm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna let you know when. In the whole middle return, and Sims takes it to the house. He's the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all when we started get Joe. we started getting momentum on this drive. I believe that can, that can at least keep up with them a little bit. Jackson, that is off. Drop. The, the two plays before this, clamped. Defense on point. They couldn't do nothing. They couldn't do nothing. I think Lamar got three yards on a rush. It was looking bad for these the niggas right here. of the intended target, Flowers. I have to believe Bobby Slowick here is going to call something where ball comes out quick. We come. We're going to CJ. Over the middle. That's nice throw to Nico over the Nico middle. Collins. What a throw. One of, the, one of the things that hurt us too. It was, it's, it's, it's just, honestly, it's really injuries, bro. John Mechie, 
I'm a big fan of you. I'm rooting for you. You had a shit year. Now you are coming off of getting cancer, but boy, let me tell you what I jump at you right now. Off season, I want you to like, please get in shape, get it together, because you don't look like you can get open. Period. The, the Texans have a bright future, though, unlike my Panthers. No, that's not true, bro. The Panthers have a bright future, bro. The same way, the people didn't even think the Texans had a bright future last year, bro. The Panthers just need one good offseason. It could change everything, bro. One good offseason change everything. But, John Mitch, you look like you can't get open, bro. I seen a couple plays when you did. A lot of plays, you're not open. You're not open, bro. Uh, Nico Collins is our only real consistent offensive receiving weapon. He don't drop passes. Schultz drop passes. And nigga, they caught up to us today. It was bad. Oh, and catch. Third down and long. And CJ Stroud finds Collins for. You're right. Oh, my God. You look so. Let me mod this nigga. Let me mod this nigga. Because this nigga, this nigga, he on that bullshit. If I don't do this, he's going to keep typing them comments. Let me mod that nigga right now. Dak to the Panthers. What the fuck are you talking about? 29 yards. Three timeouts left on each side. Here's Collins again. Catch and run. Knocked down just shy of the 30. CJ Yo, why did you give him Guape a sub after he already just got untimed out? Coming. Stroud to his right. Under throws Woods. Listen, right here, right here, CJ was he was he was in a, a bit of a groove. It was looking okay for us. He never looked the most comfortable because the offensive line was trash. But, bro, like I said in that stadium, all of them niggas, they was like, CJ's fucking cooking. Do something. They they shitting on a defensive coordinator. I forgot the, uh, the, the Ravens offensive coordinator. Niggas was mad. Niggas was mad at him. Go back to the SEC with this bullshit offense. Get Lamar some receivers they can get open. They was, they was mad, nigga. I can vote. Yeah, see, look. See, I'm glad Sticks is here. No count. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. They, Todd Monkey, thank you. It was looking okay for us. Nigga, this shit killed us, man. Bro, no cap. Hey, Sticks. Sticks will tell you. I'm in, I'm in our section, our section low key quiet. I'm, yeah! <laughs> hey, I was loud to the bitch, too. <laughs> hey, anytime something good happen, nigga, I was loud. I'm letting it be known, nigga, shit. This is my team. I'm in this bitch. Fuck that. 47. Bro, we have one of the best kickers in the NFL. You know this motherfucker missed one kick all year, and he just missed that kick last week, I think? 47. 47. Yard try by Fairbairn. It is no good. Dead. That killed us. Now, listen, games are not won by one play. Games are not lost by one play. But we go in the half leading, it's a different mentality. Then we tied. We should have been, I'm, I'm so comfortable making this shot. I said, yo, in my vlog, I said, yo, we going up, we up at half, we about to be up three points. Miss that bitch. I'm sick. Read the what? Listen, listen. Thank you. This yo, this this will tell you how like how our defense was rocking, bro. We definitely had all the momentum going out of the half. Shit was looking good. That was it. But also too. The Texas, it's no excuse for how we played the next half. The Ravens just came out and showed you why they are the number one seed. It's no shame to us losing to the Ravens. Boy, these niggas is good as fuck, and I never underestimated that shit. Lamar came out, was like, nah, I'm finna take over the game. That's Aguilar, reaches out, and got nine. Negative seven on last three possessions is crazy. Yes, bro. Our defense was looking good, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Niggas was shook. I'm like, yeah. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was lucky talking shit in halftime. Halftime, I got up out of my seat because I couldn't feel my toes. I couldn't feel my. Oh, I'm so glad I remember the story. I legit couldn't feel my toes at all, nigga. I'm like, damn. I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, my feet are fucked up. So halftime, I like, 
I wasn't, I stood still the entire game. Shout out to Baltimore too. Y'all niggas did not sit down the entire game. That was fucking nuts to me. Now, Baltimore Stadium, it was loud, but honestly, in my opinion, it was not as loud as the Texan Stadium last week. But the only reason why I believe so is because, or not the only reason, but one of the reasons is because we in the dome. The outside stadium, it's not going to be as loud as the dome. Ray, yo, Lando, appreciate you for the fucking Ray, I appreciate you. But the outside is not going to be as loud as the dome, but don't get it twisted. They was not in that motherfucker quiet. They was in that motherfucker loud. They was in that motherfucker loud, nigga. Now, um, I couldn't sit down the entire game because I wouldn't be able to see. Niggas stood up. So for the entire first half, I'm standing up, and I know I can't feel my toes, but I'm not moving my feet. Halftime come, I get up. I get up. I go, I'm like, you know what? I got to go find hand warmers, but I know they got to sell them. As soon as I sit, as soon as I move my feet, nigga, Instead of my toes feeling numb, nigga, my whole foot started to get numb. I say, what the fuck? Yo, Sticks, appreciate you for the motherfucking sub, bro. I was like, oh, shit. Nah, nigga, what the fuck? I can't feel my fucking, I can't feel my whole foot. I'm wobbling and shit. I'm like, bro, I got to go find some fucking foot warmers, bro. So, boom, I'm walking. I see Texas fans. One dude hit me. Hey! We got them scared. I said, hey, don't look like no nine point underdogs to me. Niggas looking at me. Niggas looking at me. Them looks, they stopped getting a little friendly. <laughs> hey, hey, them looks stopped getting late. Fuck is she saying, nigga? So boom. So boom. Boy, this one, shut up, nigga. Oh, um, what happened is, what then happens is, I'm trying to find hand warmers, bro. I find one of the workers. I say, excuse me, bro. I say, listen. Do y'all sell hand warmers anywhere in the stadium? Dude was like, nah, I don't think we do. Then that's when I met this 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 white. I was at I was at a bar. It was this white guy in front of me. He was he looked at me. He said, "You motherfucker, you son of a bitch." He reached in his pocket. Here you fucking go. <laughs> he was so fucking nice. I said, "God damn, I fucking Baltimore nigga." Nah, he was so nice, bro. Cause like, like yo, I, I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with white people, bro. That's how they be talking to each other. You motherfucker, you son of a bitch. Here you go. And he gave me some fucking hand warmers. What's the odds? I was like, oh my, you had some? I wish you would've said something, bro. It, bro, I was down there, fuck up, nigga. Oh my God, bro, I was fucked up. So he gave he gave me some of the motherfuckers. And I was like, oh, thank God. I put them in my gloves. I still can't feel my fingers though. Put in my gloves. I was supposed to buy some merch because I wanted to buy some Baltimore Ravens shit for the like later at home. Cause I know I don't hate the team, but I didn't get to I didn't get to buy it. But um I go back to my seat. It's time for the second half. Nigga, I'm like, I the dude next to me, he said, he heard me say, man, I can't feel my fucking feet. The nigga say, he say, oh, here. The nigga reach in his pocket. Bandwagon, no, nigga. I just don't hate the team. He reaches in his pocket and give me some fucking foot warmers. I say, nigga, this is a great city. This is a great fucking city, nigga. In a matter of 10 minutes, nigga gave me hand warmers and foot warmers. I'm like, bro, these is real niggas in here, yo. These is real niggas in here. Um, so then what happened was, uh, before we, before we started to get back into the game, let's see if I got anything else, anything else to say. Oh, I met these three guys in front of me. They were so motherfucking cool, bro. You gonna, one of them niggas in my vlog, he took his shirt off. Niggas was nuts. But they all was cool, and they, every time, anytime something good for the Ravens happened, I had these three guys in front of me turn around with their camera. I had sticks behind me yelling, Yo, Trey! Yo, Trey! <laughs> so then after that, this nigga Sticks is yelling, Trey. The niggas next to him learn my motherfucking name. So now I got like five, six niggas. Trey! Trey! <laughs> it, was, it was bad. I said, God damn, I'm done. I said, please take this ball out because these niggas know my name, yo. But let's see. Next half, let's get it, bro. That's likely. And the young tight end. Yo, get Desmond King off my team. It's his way down inside the 30. And you was on the Jumbotron? Listen. Later on, I'm complaining about being mad. It was this, it was this lady and her and her son next to me. I'm complaining about being mad. They over here, oh my God, we're on the jumbotron. 
I look up a part of me on a motherfucking jumbotron. I ain't never been on the jumbotron, nigga. I ain't, I ain't never been on. The, why the fuck am I on there when I'm mad? When we lose it. I've never been on there before. Sticks five cheered. Dex one hundred. False start. All right, all right, nigga. All right, bro. The amount of false starts we had. That's what you all fucking get. Beat your ass in front of Jacoby Jones. Hey. Nah, it's love gang. Hope you enjoyed nah. your time. Let me tell you what. It's not just Kobe Jones. Hey, fuck the Ravens. Them niggas so disrespectful, they know what they did. I, I always, let me tell you how, how my history with the Ravens go. I grew up liking the Ravens because my cousin is my cousin, middle linebacker. Most of the people in my family play defense in football. Ravens and the Steelers, defensive teams, my family aligned with the Ravens, right? So I always fuck with them. Later on in life, I started to get annoyed by them niggas because them niggas would sign a bunch of Texans and them niggas would ball the fuck out on the Texans, right? I mean, so they'll ball out on the Ravens. But then later on, I let it go. Do you know these niggas, they brought Vontae Leach to the stadium, not just Kobe Jones. Them niggas invited Vontae Leach. Nigga, that was our fullback first. Wait the reason why you know that nigga. They had him over there, Leach. What? And then you niggas invite Jacoby Jones, and Jacoby Jones is up in that bitch just dancing. Just dancing. I'm like, nah. Nah. I say, no, nah, ain't no way, Jacoby. Jacoby, ain't no way. Let me find my clip. I gotta find my clip. I couldn't believe it. This was early in the game. Second and 11. That's not it. That's when the game started. That's when the game started. Sorry. Let me know if they sit too loud. Hold on, let me move so I can see my chat. Is that too loud? Clowny too? Clowny over there cook. I'm telling you. The 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 page no, no, the Ravens. They are known to get a former Texan and they cook. It's just what they do, bro. Nah, I right, bet. Gang. Nope, that's not it. That's oh. A further. Nope. Let me mute it. I'm gonna mute this shit. Cause I I, I want to find this. Y'all gotta see. But when I seen Vontae Leach up there, I say, what the fuck? Um, there you go, you motherfucker. I was hurt. When I seen it, I got hurt. I got hurt. That's not right. That shit not right, nigga. That shit not right. That shit not right. That shit not right, bro. Hey, y'all need some hoes, bro. Yo, these niggas, these niggas is hoes, bro. Do you know I grew up rooting for Vontae Leach while he lead blocking for Foster, nigga? Why you leave blocking for Steve Slayton? That ain't cool, bro. Oh, Vontae Leach, my dog. No <laughs> way, bro. <laughs> I was hurt. I was hurt. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, bro. Fuck Baltimore, yo. Nah, that shit not cool, bro. They did that shit on purpose, bro, because you could honor this nigga any other day. You do this shit. Do you hell y'all remember Afro Blue? Chill, chill, bro. I, I was lucky rooting here be something. Bro, I remember rooting for these nigga, bro. Four point play. Now that was fucked up, gang. That was fucked and wild. Let me find Jacoby Jones on dancing. Look at sticks. What is nigga at? I don't know if I put this in my video. The game start, this is the same clip. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. What? I can't do it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
These niggas didn't know who I was. By the end of the game, try. <laughs> it was bad. It got it got bad for a nigga. It got bad for a nigga, bro. All right, let me smell why Jacoby Jones, bro. No, not this one. I took the Jacoby Jones part out the video. Oh, uh, that's us warming up. Hey, I'm, I'm dead ass too. I, I'll never root for Jacoby Jones again. I mean, that, that, that nigga cook. I'll never root for that. Now, Vontae Leach, Vontae Leach, I'll, I'll give you a pass. Now, Jacoby Jones, nigga, you real life was dance. Like, that nigga was like, yeah. Like, bro, you, bro, you act like you ain't play for us, nigga. Fuck is you doing dancing like this? Nigga, we the, bro, and let me tell you, this is why Jacoby Jones cook. I don't know why it's, it, this is bad footage. I believe this was a playoff game. Let me copy this. I believe this was a playoff, playoff game. This footage is bad, but y'all got to deal with it. It's the only way I can find on the internet. <laughs> I believe this was a playoff game. Jacoby Jones. You're one of the reasons why we lost to the Ravens. And then you go there and bought, you're one of the reasons why we, why we lost to these niggas. If this wasn't playoffs, this was a, this was a, this was a deep late season game we needed. Look at this nigga. It's a point. It hits the ground. What are you doing? What are you doing? One of the worst plays I remember growing up. What the fuck are you doing? Anyways, what a clip of this nigga dancing. Because, bro, that nigga was dancing in the sun. Not right here. It's coming up. Damn, that was loud. Look at this nigga. First of all, <clears throat> let me tell you what. I was so hurt that this nigga was here. I didn't notice this nigga right here in front of me the whole time. I'm looking at the big screen. This nigga getting groovy in front of me. Oh, switch it like that. Look at that nigga. Jones, bro. I would never see, I would never see what's the Kobe Jones again on my mama. Move. <laughs> I booed that nigga. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let <me get> boo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was fucked up, bro. Like Bunch of Leech, I get I give a pass. But that was fucked up, bro. Now, anyways, let's continue to the second half of this fucking game because it got bad for us. Blitz coming from the secondary. Passes caught. First I don't remember anything good that happened this half for us. I'm being dead ass. Gain of nine. Steven Nelson, you getting cooked by Aguilar, bro. Blitz coming from the secondary. Passes caught. First down. Yo, Kole, welcome to Houston, please. Somebody, yo, get us a, get us a cornerback. On Ravens, that's Bateman. Gain of nine. D'Amico Ryans has been as a defensive play caller in the Thing NFL. was getting fried. Oh, don't know. How much, years in San how, how many? How many? How much yards is thing to give up? I know he gave up a touchdown. The touchdown he gave up, that was the impossible. Pass As a Bears fan, market. I want to thank the CMC for packing them niggas up. I'm glad that one year one Jordan Love is gone. What I tell you, Rokorn and Patrick Queen was on that. We keeping Justin fuck them niggas. You had no aura in them stands, gang. 
I don't, I'm not worried about you saying what I don't have. After going into halftime tied 10 to 10, the Baltimore Ravens would proceed to score 24 unanswered to advance. Also starting out down 24 to 0, the Kansas City Chiefs came roaring back to hey! score 40 unanswered. It ain't got nothing to do with what's going on today. Nigga, my cousin don't want to play for Houston. Yes, he do. Tizwan yes, he do, nigga. Subscribed for yes, he do. Tell your months. cousin, welcome home. W tugging on the MC do gun on a minilazis on a slagger lugan with a jig alatang. I got be mo all the way. What the fuck are you talking about? Get that, get that shit out of here. Dr. Zero Clutch just resubscribed for 41 months. Trace, oh my guy. Yo, appreciate it, gang. I'm going to send him this clip. Yeah, nigga, tell that nigga, welcome to Houston. Tell that nigga, say, hey, Kool-Aid, welcome to motherfucking Houston, nigga. I'm a, yo, I'm going to take you to motherfucking French's chicken, nigga. You good, nigga. You tapped in in the city. You tapped in. Nigga say he don't want to go to Houston. You lying. Eli underscore two underscore godly cheer at Dex right, 100. Man. Getting rizzed into a mod is crazy gangy. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? I get it. I it's get it. Some school Lando just resubscribed for forty months. You know it's crazy how we was supposed to be in Casas City, but love your gang. Lando, Lando, man, it, it, it wasn't meant to be, bro. Sticks five just subscribed. Shout six hundred in the chat. Sticks, appreciate you for the goddamn sub, bro. bro. <coughs> Sticks five just resubscribed for six months. That was weird. Exactly, like he was a new. He was a new tier sub. Yo, Cuddy, thank you for the sub, bro. I'm mean, Cuddy Row underscore cheered X100. We got a little shut bit up, nigga, Cuddy Asli. Nigga, you shut your ass up, nigga. Senpei Shiba just resubscribed for 24 months. Shiba, for the sub, years, gang. We've been locked in. On the Real. way. Glad to see the growth, gang. 1K, 1K average on the way this year? Viewers this year, too. Listen, I. Trace so big. It's on the way, bro. Yo, yo, we gonna be, we, we gonna hit the 1K, bro. It's on the way. We working. Top we working. Sean just and we giving out good content, I believe. 32 months. Stop. Appreciate it for the 32 months, gang. I appreciate it. Why did Texans stole? If the Texans would have beat Baltimore, hell would have froze over, but it didn't. So don't forget the takeover. The breaks over, nigga. God, MC, me, J Hover. The takeover. The breaks over, nigga. God, MC, me, J Hover. You think you made it, huh? If you think you switch, famous now because you was on the news? No. Nigga, you still trench made, don't forget it. Hey, remind me to tell you about the news story. Shout out to that lady that was on the news too. Like, her ass was fine in person. Though. I ain't gonna lie. It was too cold. I wouldn't think about talking to nobody. I was trying to go home. Bro, if the Lions get to and win a Super Bowl, would you celebrate the lean bowl with a lean stream? Come no. on. It's perfect. I can supply you with need a six of red. No. You hit, boy, I ain't hit nothing in Baltimore. No, I don't, I'm not celebrating no fucking lean bowl. Nigga said, please. Baller you want me to please text the lean? What the fuck is about? For 41 months. Sorry about the team lose, but my cousin saw you at the game, but was nervous to approach you. Man, bro, listen. I'm glad, we, I'm glad I got my nigga sticks in here. Bro, he'll let you know. Anybody else that's seen me, they'll let you know. I am a regular nigga. I am. I don't have no ego because I know, bro, dog, who the fuck am I? I'm just a regular nigga, bro, like for real. If y'all see me anywhere, nigga, approach me, bro. We're going to gonna chop it up, like, on some cool shit. Like, you just ego me. That's cap. That's cap. I swear to God, bro, if y'all ever see me, a nigga be having security. No, not. I don't have no damn security. Not yet. But shit, I know eventually we'll get to the point. But, um... But no, bro, I swear to God, I don't have no ego. I don't think I'm above nobody or nothing, nigga. Like, we'll chop them and have a good conversation. Like, I don't approach me. I don't think I'm anybody to, like, to be nervous about, but I, I appreciate y'all for, like, even noticing me, though. Dexter's underscore lab underscore just resubscribed for I don't five want to chop it up with you. I don't want to chop it with you, nigga. because of how cold it was, Lamau. No, that's not why we lost, bro. I'm telling you, bro, penalties killed the fuck out of us. I don't know what the fuck wrong with George Fenn when he gets in Baltimore. That nigga, he started playing scary as shit. All right, that's the last donation. <clears throat> nigga, nigga, why that nigga play? So all them penalties, bro, <sighs> whatever, bro.
from Cisco. His first in Houston. He's watching Lamar Jackson take it in. Touchdown, Ravens. And had the 15 yard touchdown run. I was in a whole video. What video is that? What video is that? Uh, you take perks. What, what, what? I don't know what that is. So good with a ball. The fuck is a black? Yo, sticks. My motherfucking dog, man. Bro, I appreciate you for the big fucking ten gifted, bro. Real nigga, bro. Chat. Spam Davis in the chat for my motherfucking dog. I appreciate you. And also too, bro, you helped make the vlog lit, bro. Real shit. Thank you so much, bro. No cap. In his arm. Touchdown, Ravens. Back on What's top his name? seven. Oh. That nigga name was Stroud, you take first. Schultz. A nice sliding catch for the first down. Because the Ravens stay on top of the receiver so well. They're sticking with a run. I was shit talking this run. I thought we wouldn't do it. Oh, bro, we, we, we ran the ball so shitty. And they are rewarded with a first down carry and more by Devin Singletary. Man. Third and five. Look at this shit. Protection breaks down. I guarantee you. It's third and 15. I'm sorry. I guarantee you the reason why it's fucking third and 15. Because we got a fucking false start. I guarantee it. The vid. Let me see. It's the vid. On it all, I won't leave a oh, shit. Who the fuck is this? What time stamp I'm at? Breadcrumb. Oh, I seen this motherfucker. Bitch, what I thought Yo! I I knew that nigga was a YouTuber. We're on our way to Maryland. As you can kind of see, it's freaking snowing out. We're driving through a national weather emergency. Or I don't know. What time are we at? We're currently in West Virginia. We had a Let me tell you what, bro. I'm going, I'm going to more games next year. This shit is fire. Um, they got our road opponents. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look that up after the game. I'm going, bro. What time stamp we at? I seen Texas fan had. Where y'all niggas was at when I was getting trolled? Texas! What, what, what was all of this? Did I show up late? Nigga said, I ain't seen none of these. N nigga ain't invite me? Texas! 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 Oh, 629, thank you. Now, let's get back into the video. All right, chat. So, obviously, I don't know if I'm putting it in yet, but we weren't going to spend... Just lied like a motherfucker. I knew something was wrong because it was nighttime. 303, thank you so much, bro. Just as many playoff wins as Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson's one and four. Damn, bro, my jacket big as, my jersey big as fuck. Holy <laughs> shit, oh my God. Yeah. He said good luck. We gonna need Baltimore. <laughs> no, y'all gonna need it. Nah, you guys suck this year. Let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Who's the MVP this year? See Oh, before this, they asked me something, they just cut it out. CJ Stroud. Stroud. CJ Stroud has just as many players. playoff wins as Lamar Jackson. Party Lamar Jackson's Don't one and four in the playoffs. Look at my gloves. My gloves weak as fuck. Oh my God, nigga. Them, nigga, I had some drop top gloves. Them hoes is weak. CJ Stroud's one and zero. Yo, this the old nigga. That got on my fucking nerves. This the old nigga that got on my fucking nerves. When he said this shit, that shit blew me. You hear me? You know you in the wrong city. Bitch, you talking shit first. Fuck you. I hate niggas like this, yo. Like, everybody is having fun. Everybody... You know you're in the wrong city. CJ Stroud's the guy. Shut the fuck up. Dog, I was like, let me get away from this nigga, bro, because this nigga, this nigga about to piss me off, bro. Everybody was cool, nigga. Old ass nigga, shut up, nigga. Dog, I'm so, oh my God, that nigga blew my fucking mind. I was like, bro, I'm done, bro. I'm done, I'm done. I'm done, bro. Let me, let me get away from this nigga, bro. Everybody having fun. Shut up, nigga. Yo. I'm trying to tell you, I'm warning you. <laughs> 
telling you to calm it down. We're in Baltimore. We don't care about police, none of that. Yo. Nobody gives a fuck what you're saying, OG. Nobody. Any nigga from any city, stop telling us where you're from. We don't give a fuck. Don't. We don't give a fuck. We from Houston. Houston niggas don't care about police. Detroit niggas don't care about police. Chicago niggas don't care about police. You think that Baltimore is just so much more scarier than any other shit that I've seen? Now, I'm not saying Baltimore's a weak city. That's not what I'm saying. Don't get it twisted. I know Baltimore ain't nothing to play with. But, nigga, you not finna sit and tell me, yo, you know where you at? Nigga, I know where I flew into. I ain't dumb. Bro, I'm at a football game. Shut the fuck up, nigga. You got on a fucking... Boy, you got on a bedazzled skeleton mask. He got on a bedazzled skeleton mask. Trying to be gangster. This was wrong with niggas, bro. You can't just enjoy games. Like, what are we doing? But keep going. You guys still suck. Dude, you're poverty. You're from Houston. Well, Mark Jackson is. You know what? I love. I got too much respect for Baltimore to, to reply to what this nigga said. <laughs> I'm going to get out of there. I'm going to get out of there. Baltimore, I got love for y'all niggas. I'm going to let y'all rock. That, this nigga right here is tripping. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> oh, I had too much of a good time to reply to that, bro. I fuck with Baltimore, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Let's go. Let's keep it rocking. Protection oh my down. god, that was a funny shit. Long way to go, and he won't get anywhere near. Your private. <laughs> Hey, niggas just be chatting. <laughs> oh. At their 21. Look at this time. Okay. Who the fuck got watched like that? 95? Oh, my God. Jonathan Grenard, you're getting cooked over here. Bateman. Nice diving catch. That's not on... Offense. I mean, it's not on DBs at all. This shit is on defensive line. Texas, please. <clears throat> if I had to be honest, I think over us drafting another cornerback. I know Kool Aid to Houston be fired. Whatever, whoever, whatever DB. We need a defensive tackle. One of the best defensive tackles. I think we need. I think we need that nigga from Texas. We need. We need the one of the best defensive tackles in the draft. We need him. Simple and plain. Period. Also, too, the D line coach got fired. Great. Good. I do know that Will Anderson not in the game like that because he was he's fucking hurt. Grenard has not been healthy. But listen, it's the playoffs. I don't want to talk about who's hurt and who's not healthy. Everybody's hurt. Everybody's not healthy. Listen, I need, I need uh, Grenard some shit. He had 12 and a half sex this year. He not shit. He just, he hasn't been healthy, so he ain't been playing good. Um, But... No cap, no nigga. I need defensive tackles, bro. We need something bad. Bateman. Nice diving catch. What is it, fourth and one? Oh, this is hard. Jackson hurts. gets it and then some. Making guys miss to the 35. Look at this shit. This half, they show that, that, bro, they are simply the better team. Like, they got a good team up there, bro. Blitz, completion, kill. And the scary part about it is these Corners. niggas not healthy. These niggas don't got their best they, they best weapon. So they tight end. He's not playing. Huh. Jackson. And this throw was disgusting. It was in front of us. And on top of it, it was a nigga glazing likely the whole game. He kept saying, I went to school with likely. Isaiah. I went to school with Isaiah. It's a dot. Isaiah. And then for Isaiah to catch this pass, this is good coverage, a better throw. It's now second and one. Derek Singley, yes. Jackson. He on there. This is coverage. Where Lamar put this ball, and you can't do nothing about it. That's a fucking dot, 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 nigga. Um, like That's disgusting. Play for the touchdown. 
That's disgusting, man. Carolina. He got up there. Absolutely. He attacked the ball at the high point. But this is 15 yard touch. Look, what do you want a DB to do? <laughs> look at this. Look at look at look at my nigga Stingley. <laughs> Oh my God! Down throw from Lamar Jackson. That shit is disgusting. Bro. Ravens up 14. Baltimore, true to character, has just not given up any of those. Here's pressure by Mallette. And let me tell you what, CJ Stroud let us know too. He gonna be good for a long time, bro. The Ravens should have had so many sacks this game. Ravens, how, how many sacks did y'all have this game? To my recollection, I only seen one or two. But it should have been more. But the way that this nigga can escape the pocket, this nigga's good, bro. True to character, has just not given up any of those. Here's pressure by Mollett. Zero. This nigga has zero sacks. Bro, CJ Stroud gonna be good, bro. Cause boy, this offensive line was shit. Stroud on third down, has to throw it away. Back-to-back -to -back touchdown drives put together. The Texans had four, I think By so. this Ravens offense. All of them came Jackson first half, I know that. surprised by that snap. It looked like, and Justice Hill gets almost nine. And he didn't touch it. Yeah, I thought we might see a little bit more of him. They talked about maybe getting the ball to him a little bit. Here's Jackson. Pulled it out, gets the first down. Last week at Ford Field, it'll be that much better tomorrow. Running the ball. On second and nine. Who's on D-line? It'll be that much better tomorrow. Look at Blake Cashman getting cooked. Oh my God. On second and nine, Hill. First down plus. There's a lot going on, oh. and a lot of it's good for the Baltimore Ravens in the 2020. I know it's time to go in, nigga. Dalvin Cook, old ass, came in this bitch and got a good run. Three season. Here's a carry. That's Cook. Dalvin Cook. Welcome to Baltimore. Yeah, we might see a little bit more from Dalvin Cook. Three weeks, of rest, three, three weeks of rest would do that to you. Yeah, that's a fact. But at the same time, I don't want to use that as an excuse for why the Texans came out and just didn't look like the better team. In theory, that should work. And I get where you're coming from. But I've, we've seen the Ravens um, come out and lose in situations where they rested. We've seen so many number one teams come out and be rested and then lose. So it sounds good. But it don't help as much as I think we think. Third down and seven. Flowers broke a tackle and takes a seat for the first down. How do niggas uh, play in that cold? That's crazy. But you, bro, you got to understand, like, when you're on the field, you don't be as cold because you're moving and doing all of this shit. It's still cold, though. I'm not going to act like it's not. I'm not fucking crazy. But... Bro, moving and playing helps. Now, the moment you stay still, you're fucking done. Jackson keeps Stanley in front of him. Touchdown, Lamar. One and three in the playoffs. He got his deep. Adrenaline. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, go. Adrenaline, bro. Field done. He's been more of a leader. And on the field. First of all, he used to play football or something. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't never do that. Incomparable. If Mike McDonald returns as defensive coordinator and he's not a head coach somewhere in the NFL next year. Oh, Goonbowale underneath, short of the first down. But you would Al, this is the play that I got up and left. I said, if we don't get this first down, I'm getting believe. You have to believe, not for long. Stroud on fourth down incomplete for Schultz. I got up, walked off. Niggas, where you going? Where you going? I was like, I'm leaving, bitch. <laughs> I'm leaving. What you mean? <laughs> it ain't nothing more, no more to see. <laughs> oh, nigga, I live. I actually could have left a whole lot earlier. I had got invited to a fucking bar to go out to um, by these um, the people that was in front of me. I was like, let me just finish my video first. I will leave, bro. The rest, what happens next, I don't know. Toss to Hill, blocking out in front with Moses. Third and five, and we Hill got the ball again. Down short. Oh, no. Four On fourth down and three, Hill gets it. 
And the Ravens keep control of the football. He's in the hall. What an embarrassing way to go out, though. I'm going to lie, bro. Fame and, you know, they've, and then Eric DaCosta's continued to draft great players just like Ozzie Newsom did. And so embarrassing. They, they really know what they're doing. Niggas kicked another. Oh, man. 43, they, they made theirs. Which he does. Rate my team season. Honestly, I, I will. I am. Nah, it wasn't. No, it is embarrassing. It is embarrassing to come out and lose like that. It's not embarrassing to lose to the Ravens. I should have. Damn, I was supposed to make another. Um, I'm, I'm going to make another one. It's not embarrassing to lose to the Ravens. That's not. But to come out and not score an offensive touchdown when you have one of the hottest offensive coordinators in the league. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. You can't call it anything else. Like, we're not going to give us a participation trophy for just making it here. You want to compete. Embarrassing. Here is Agumba Wale over the right side on Boy, first down. Boy, this is one The loss at Buffalo. Told you our defense like this. I mean, I can't say nothing to you because y'all won, but it's a combination of y'all defense being good, Will. But, nigga, we're good enough to score on y'all, niggas. We're good enough to throw a touchdown on you, niggas. Why are you surprised? Will, stop that, bro. I hate niggas. Stop. The Texans are good enough to score a touchdown on you, niggas. You, you ask me, why am I surprised that C.J. Stroud, who's not throwing how many touchdowns, who's throwing how many touchdowns over the past couple of games, not surprised? Like, what are you talking about? I'm surprised. Like, nigga, you didn't think he was going to come out here and score zero touchdowns. You're lying, bro. All right? Now, um, anyways, though, I'm just – I don't – it's just how bad we play, bro. And I think it was a combination of uh, – bro, our, our, our offensive coordinator is hot, right? Nigga, in eight, to, in eight quarters, y'all didn't score – bro, you're telling me I, – I can't argue with a nigga y'all won the game and you doing all this hindsight shit. I wish I would have asked you how many fucking points – I hate a hindsight-ass nigga. I wish I would have asked you how many points, because I guarantee you wouldn't have said that we not scoring a touchdown on y'all last week. You didn't say that. You, didn't, you, you wasn't talking like that, nigga. Stop, bro. Anyways, though, um, the combination of what happened in this motherfucking game is, um, to be honest, Bobby Slowick, you play like shit. You coast like shit this, this game. You coast like shit. Our offensive coordinators, some, most people don't know about football. A lot of people don't know about the coordinators. Our, the Texans have been so good and so surprised and so surprisingly good on offense. We one of the most explosive offenses in the NFL with not that much talent. One of the most uh, – so when that happens, other teams want your coordinator. So, nigga, the Seahawks uh, have interviewed him to be a coordinator, or to be a coach. The uh, – who is it? Seahawks, the Commanders, the Panthers. I think he interviewed with the Raiders, but uh, the Raiders hired their coach. This nigga was not focused on the game. No, Will, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Because the thing is, I don't want to talk to you because I'm knowing there's nothing that I can prove that you would have said. But, nigga, I'm not hearing no nigga that was like, bro, the Texans is not finna score at all. I don't want to hear that shit. You niggas is capped the fuck out. And that's fine. That's fucking fine. But nigga, you're not finna tell me you thought y'all niggas was gonna just not, we, yeah, we, we weren't gonna score shit. I don't wanna hear that shit, bro. Stop. All right. But any motherfucking way. Yeah, he wasn't focused on the game. Bobby Slow, you had a shit game this game. Period, bro. It was bad. You coached fucking terrible. And you obviously focused on your next job. But at the same time, I'm appreciative of Bobby Slow. I'm appreciative of you. And I don't think that you're a bad coordinator. You just, it is what it is. You know. And so all those questions. I have come to y'all. So will. So will. Your defense so good. Y'all shutting Patrick Mahomes them down next week too. They not scoring. Is Patrick Mahomes them not scoring? They not scoring a touchdown. Not really. Not past 20. That's, I guarantee you, bro, he would have talked the same way last. I got to go watch. I got to watch the footage of how this nigga talk, bro. This nigga is so cap, bro. It is what it is, though. This is a big win, but 
there's a lot more left. In the past games I had under 20, I right, chat, let me see y'all, please. Because, like, I'm not saying that this nigga wasn't confident in his defense. This nigga, I knew y'all wouldn't score the touchdown. I knew it. I knew y'all would shut up, bro. Stop, bro. Stop, bro. That's different. Like, all right. And he knows it. So they'll feel good about this. And that shit crazy. I hate I hate how niggas talk like when they win. Ball with his brother, his father, his mom, with family in attendance, gets to celebrate a but return. Anyways, though, at the end of this, though, yeah, I want to say down from the um to rate the Texas season because this is our last game of the season. It's the most. To rank our season, bro, if I had to give us a grade, the Texans season is an A minus. Honestly, I'm being dead ass, to be honest. Fuck that. The Texans season is an A plus. Real shit. I being just completely unbiased. The last game was embarrassing. It was embarrassing, but it's an A plus. Because you gotta sit and think about where the fuck you were, your expectations. And what, what you accomplished. No one thought that this team was going to win the division. You do it. A plus only for the championship? That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. No. That's not how, well, if that's your grading scale, that's not how I grade mine. No. Now, next year, if the Texans come out and do have the same exact grading, you don't, you're not, we, you're, we're not going to grade on the same scale. If, te if the Texans come out and win 10 games, losing the divisional again, then you don't get an A-plus for that. You don't. But, nigga, to change a rebuild in one, to, to go from rebuilding one year to competing, your first year, it's an A-plus season. Real shit. You gotta be extra hard on these grades. Now, I'm gonna say why I, why I give them an A-plus. Um, you got... In this past season, you secured your quarterback of the future. Everybody know C.J. Stroud, honestly, going into next season, just based off this last season, he's a top. I ain't going to lie. I'm not being humble. Yo, going into next season, C.J. Stroud is possible. Is, is this nigga top five, top seven quarterback? Based off his play. Now, will he be that next year? I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot of shit that go into it. But you secure a top five, top seven quarterback in the draft. Real shit. That's an A plus. First, how is that not an A plus? You glazing now? You can't name name seven niggas. Name seven niggas that you had that you would take over CJ Stroud right now. Name him. Name seven niggas that you're taking over CJ Stroud right now. Jordan Love, that's debatable. You could do that. You can have fun with the Jordan Love. I'm not taking him over. I'm not taking Jordan Love over him because C.J. Stroud is younger. C.J. Stroud is younger, and honestly, I think he's more talented. But you go Jordan Love, go, go crazy. He not naming five two up. I guarantee you, if the Texans call, if the Texans call Miami and ask, do you want to trade Tua for C.J. Stroud, which nigga in here is saying no? Who's saying no? And you Miami, you fucking crazy. I'm trading two in a second. Me the fuck, you crazy as fuck. Joe Burrow, I give you that. I you Joe Burrow. So based off what Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow's done in the past, and when he played healthy, he's a good quarterback. Okay, you want to see Joe Burrow go out and have fun? Nigga said Herbert. Listen, I, Justin Herbert got a lot of love. You name five, hold on, I go to it. I got you. Herbert got a lot of love. Uh, Hurts, Lamar, Allen, Golf, Mahomes. You, I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry with that Golf. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not taking Golf over Mahomes. I'm not taking Golf over CJ Stroud. I'm not. I know you're a Lions fan. I'm not taking Golf over CJ Stroud. Purdy, stop playing with me like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. CJ Stroud is younger more talented in golf, and also cheaper. Explain why? Nigga, CJ Stroud's a better quarterback than him. <clears throat> Two years, top five yards. Okay, whatever. The game manager. Nigga, I, I, I pull up some throws. Golf ain't make this whole year. Don't do that. 
Don't do that. All right. Now, the quarterbacks, listen, because I'm unbiased. The quarterbacks that I can understand y'all seeing over CJ Stroud. Lamar, of course. Come on now. Mahomes, of course. Come on now. Josh Allen, I can understand you. I'm not tripping. Go crazy. Um, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow's led his team to a fucking Super Bowl. Yes, he was a this was an off year. Yes, he was hurt. I understand Joe Burrow. How many did I name? That was was that was four? Golf, Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Allen. Anybody else? I'm debating with you. Lawrence, I'm good. Herbert, I think I'll take CJ. I think I'll take CJ. Herbert, debatable. I'm good. I'll take CJ. I'll take CJ. Um, Rogers, bro, come no. I'm not taking. Yo, this is not five years ago. Jalen Hurts, no. Sorry, no. All right, Zach Wilson, let's 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 keep the stream going. Let's keep the stream going. Ranking all 32 primary starting quarterbacks for the end of the 2023 regular season. Hmm. Why don't you sum me this? Lamar, MVP, great year. Uh, you got Lamar. Lamar won MVP. They got Dak. Dak played amazing this year, postseason. Shit. I would never defend you again, nigga. You embarrassed me. Remember this regular season? Yes, I know. This regular season. You embarrassed me, dude. I will never defend you again, dog. Dak at two? This is regular season. Don't be a prisoner of the moment. This is regular season. Do not let your hate for Dak in the playoffs stop you. Look at Dak's numbers. Regular season. All right. Number three, you got Josh Allen. Josh Allen, 43, uh, 100 yards, 26 touchdowns, 18 picks. Jesus Christ. Talk. <laughs> but after watching Josh Allen's game, though, I get why he here. If this nigga stops with the dumbass plays, this nigga is so fucking good, bro. Dak equals hard, and that's a great comparison. Dak had a better season than Josh Allen. Yes, he did. See, <clears throat> listen to me. Y'all got to stop letting y'all hate. Y'all got to stop letting y'all hate for a certain player cloud y'all judgment. Dak team in a regular season lost two games. I think, what, three? It was bad. I can't remember. Josh Allen played was so shit he had to dig his team out of the hole that he created. Why are you niggas asking if Dak had a better a regular season than Josh Allen? His team was in the hole because of the way he was playing early. Like, come on, man. All right, now let's keep it going. Uh, Stafford. 15 games played, almost 4,000 yards, 24 and 11. You had two or two had a good season, bro. A lot of picks. God damn. Damn. I'm going to be honest. This is why I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start disagreeing with this list. What's she just started? Golf, 30 touchdowns, 12, uh, 12 um, picks. 4,500 yards, golf, you did your thing. And consistency, played the whole year, 67% of your passes. Tour was 70. Brock Purdy. Uh, about 70% of his passes that we like to round up. 4,200 yards, 31 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. C.J. Stroud, 4,100 yards, 23 touchdowns, 5 picks. Three rushing touchdowns, eight fumbles. Those fumbles is bad. 15 games. Pat Mahomes. I do top 10. You got Pat Mahomes coming in at nine. 4,100 yards. The Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins? This list suck dick.
No. No. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Nah, this list is garbage. Why the fuck is Kirk Cousins over Jordan Love? The disrespect of what Jordan Love did. Who the fuck is Joe Flacco over? Why the fuck is Joe Flacco over Jalen Hurts? I'm sorry. I knew something was wrong. Listen to me. This nigga too high. He's too high. I was like, let me see the rest of the list. I'm gonna keep it to myself. Too high. Too high. Who else they got? Jalen Hurts. You got Baker at 14. Trevor. Oh, Trevor Lawrence, get out of here, nigga. Yeah, I'm cool on this list. I'm, I'm good on this one. All right. Uh, look at Hurts' stats. What Hurts finished the year with? God damn, Jalen. <laughs> God damn. 23 touchdowns, 15 rushing, passing. Where Pat, they got Pat ranked at nine. 14 picks. Honestly, bro, I really wish that this nigga CJ Stroud did not get hurt. The season is what the season is. Bro, if this nigga didn't get hurt versus the Jets, bro, this nigga numbers was nuts. That Jets game was bad, though, bro. But this nigga numbers was crazy. Those two games that we missed hurt, though. Hey, hey they hurt a lot. All right. But uh, I think it's time to go into the next game, though. That's enough to talk about the Texans. Uh, let's go into order. The next game was Kansas City. No, it was Green Bay. It was Green Bay. It was Green Bay. Oh, I got to tell you about what happened after the game. So, after the game, we about an hour 30 in the stream, so I'll speed this up so I can end my Baltimore trip. After the game, bro, I walk out of the stadium. Don't know, I got you. Let me go to my Discord, too. I walk out of the stadium, bro. I, I, at this point in time, I'm starting to not feel my feet again. And I'm like, bro, it's time to go. I take my grill out. As soon as I take my grill out, I'm walking to my hotel. I, I get this woman walking to me. I'm like, God damn, she finds in a bitch. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm cold as fuck. I'm like, what the fuck she want, bro? What she want? She said, hi, can we interview you? I say, yeah, let's do it. And nigga, no cap. I killed that interview, though. I was like, shit, nigga, they might as well put all my questions in there. I really cooked on that motherfucker. But nigga, they was like, it was like, it was like, hi. Uh, we are, it's like, yo, are you from here? I say, I'm from Houston. She said, oh, we're Channel 2 News. I say, word. I say, fuck it, let's do it, bro. Should have kept the grills in? No, you got to understand. I took my grill out because I was walking home. I'm leaving out of the gate. I'm already cold. I'm like, boom. As soon as I take my grill out, I'm putting it in my pocket. She was, hi, can we interview you? I'm like, all right, better hurry up. Let's go. Like, it's cold. I ain't got time to put this fucking grill out. Hold on, let me put it back in. Like, no, it is what it is. All right, let's go season it was and it, while it wasn't the outcome we wanted fans here in Houston and those who flew out to Baltimore say the future is bright our Candace Burns spoke to fans who traveled to Baltimore to cheer on the team this is not the way any of us wanted the Houston Texans hey, oh, yeah, to cool. end, but the fans we talked to here say they're keeping their heads in up person, and sure. they're already looking forward to next year Houston Texan fans knew it would be an uphill fight. It's going to be tough, man. I'm not going to lie to you. What's up, Houston, baby? They traveled far and wide. Absolutely. I flew in this morning. Houston! <laughs> 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 hey, but look, bro, if you look at me, nigga, my face, bro, y'all know me. I'm an animated nigga. My face is barely moving. I look fucking puffy as shit, like, I'm cold, nigga. This the coldest I've been in, like, nigga. Shit, living some years, nigga. It was cold, nigga. Dog, like, nigga. That's a meme, nigga. bro. They traveled far and wide. Absolutely. I flew in this morning. Houston, Texas. 
and endure the bitter cold to bring their team big energy and support. There's a big group of us. But the game didn't end how any of them had hoped. You know, we had a chance in the first half. We, we kind of really close, but I think their defense is just too good. It's just a tough loss. However, it was really a season, uh, unexpected season. Listen to me. Listen, I'm talking. <laughs> my my mouth bad. I say unexpected season. I'm, I'm ready to go. Just a tough loss. However, it was really a season, uh, unexpected season. Um, just disappointed how it ended, but at the same time, I'm happy where we're going, though. These That's a fact. That's a fact. Diehard fans are still full of Houston Texan pride. Well, I think <laughs> they did a good job. We made it this far. It's that was it. Oh, and then I ain't gonna lie. I'm getting interviewed. Why the fuck is he getting interviewed? Fuck the Texans. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Maybe that's why they put the rest of my shit in there. Oh my God. Lips ask you, bro. Who gives a fuck about being cute or whatever when it's cold? It's history right there. I mean, be proud for how far they went. We got a bright future, good head coach, real good quarterback. We're gonna be good. Where y'all niggas was at? I was sitting by myself. So as you just heard, it is still Texan strong here in Baltimore. Everybody excited for next year. Boom. And yeah, nigga, bro, she put my ass on the motherfucking news, man. Hell no, no, play. Put me on the news, bro. So after that, after the game, I got invited out to a bar by some, um, it was like three white guys in front of me. They were so motherfucking cool, bro. Um, they was like, hey man, we going to we going to a bar, man. Come out, bro. Come out. I was like, all right, but I'm gonna come back to the game. I go in my room. I say, I say, man. I text them because they gave me their number because like they was recording me on videos. I say, bro, all the videos I recorded, send it to me, bro. I go to the room. I say, I'm gonna come out after I um after I uh after I warm up. Say the hotel I was staying at. I was staying at Marriott. Y'all niggas wrong as fuck for those thin ass covers. I ain't never been in a hotel where the covers are so motherfucking thin, my nigga. I paid solid money. I get try to lay in the covers to warm up. I'm feeling the fucking breeze and I'm under every seat you got in that bitch. I mean, so. Ain't no way this motherfucker is that fucking cold. And then the heater don't go past 80. Turn this bitch up. It's cold outside. Them bitches, I'm telling you, bro. Turn this bitch up, bro. Shit not right, bro. <laughs> Nigga, I swear to God, nigga. I swear to God, I was cold as fuck. <laughs> uh, so then what happened is I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to go out. I really wasn't that warm, but I'm like, bro, I spent all of this money to come out here. Um, I recorded my video. Let's at least go out and see what's going on. I'm gonna put this video on my watch later. Uh, watch later. Let's, let's at least go out and see what's going on. I don't know what to expect. I, three random strangers invite me out. Fuck it, let's go do it though. I called an Uber. Baltimore, why the fuck are y'all Ubers so fucking expensive? I took a screenshot of them bitches. Nigga, I was going 15 minutes. I think that bitch was $60. Fuck is you doing? Look! Make sure I got nothing on here. Oh, this is the airport. American Airlines. My phone, D&D. &D. The Ubers. Nigga. What are you doing being that expensive? What's up? Like, hey nigga, it's not even far I'm, where I'm going. I'm like, fuck it, let me, let, me, let me go to this fucking bar. So I go to the bar and nigga, they go in there, the dudes, they see me, they said, you fucking came out, oh my God, he's here. It was like, bro, we've been showing this, we've been showing everybody that we fucking know this video of you, bro. 
this fucking video. Listen, bro. I don't know if anybody ever told you. You're like a fucking meme, bro. I went. All right. All right. All right. They say, bro, your face is just so fucking animated, bro. Like you like, like we can look at your face and see your team's getting shitted on. I said, all right, bro. <laughs> but then like, they was like, listen, they said, bro, we've never had a fan come to Baltimore and be cool how you was cool. And then also come to this bar. And like, this is a local bar. Nobody comes here, but bro, yo, you, he said, listen, anytime you come to Baltimore, bro, let us know you're fucking good. But then also, also they said, uh, animated equals black. Nah, they wouldn't on it, bro. Don't do that. But then they was like, listen, your tab is on us. You pull your card out, motherfucker. Motherfucker, you pull your card out tonight. I'm going to take it as disrespect. Whatever you want here, you can fucking get it. I say, bet. All right, man. I appreciate it, bro. Let's do it. So, boom. They was like, fuck that. What we drinking? What we drinking? <laughs> I say, uh, hard art. Bro, that's how they talking, bro. I say, I say, man, give me a Jack and Coke. Bro. Fuck it. Yo, bartender, Jack and Coke for my fucking God, bro. So they just kept talking about the game. We chilling and shit. Having a good fucking time, bro. It was, I brought out. They was so fucking cool, dog. Uh, that's why I'm telling you, nigga. That's why I fuck with Baltimore, no cap. Y'all, they was so fucking cool. And then you had random people coming in like, man, listen, bro. We've been season ticket holders for a long time. I ain't never see a motherfucker in here. With, with with a different jersey, bro. Listen, man, you are, listen, you're you're fucking cool, guy. So boom, here come this fucking random woman, though. This bitch was annoying. So he started to tell us about Baltimore. It's a lot of shit about Baltimore I don't know. Like for example, he was like, bro, did you know? Like he was like, man, yo, sticks. What the fuck, bro? Sticks. Look at my motherfucking guy, bro. Twenty five fucking gifted. I'm teaming I fuck with Baltimore, bro. Dog, appreciate you for the big fucking 25 gifted subs, dog. No cap, man. Bro, Baltimore good with me, bro. Hey, no nigga can slander Baltimore in front of me, bro. I'm telling you, like, the city was just, like, it was just nothing but love, bro. Nothing but love, dog. So I fuck with the DMV. I fuck with Baltimore. They, they told me Baltimore, not DMV. I fuck with Baltimore, nigga. <laughs> but anyways, though, boom. Boom, what then happens is, when I'm there, uh, it's not, all right, bet. Listen, I'm listening to y'all niggas, whatever. Y'all know the politics, I don't. When I'm there, the guy telling me about Boston, he's like, bro, like a lot of people got like this bad perception of the city. Like, I understand, like, listen, there's a lot of fucking motherfuckers out here doing crime and drugs, but this is not what the city's about. This is a good city. I say, I say listen, bro, you ain't gotta convince me. See, y'all been good to me, that's why I'm out here, it's good. So then what then happens is he was like, he started telling me, he was like, yeah, man, like, he's like, did you know, like, Baltimore is the only city, like, in America that we legally cannot expand the city. I said, what the fuck? He said, because, like, how, how old the city is, I forgot, it was a term for it. I'm like, damn, that's nuts. And he was like, he's like, now, I understand that, like, my experience in Baltimore is different because I'm white, and I'm going to just say that I have more opportunities. Here come this random woman. Did you just say that? Did, did he just say that? No way you just said that. And I'm like, bitch, who invited you in our conversation? Get out of here, bitch. Get out. Like nobody invited her at all. Like, oh God. So then me and the dude talk with each other. I'm like, I, I said, I said, hey, bro, keep going. Keep going. So we keep talking and talking. So then she come up to me. So <laughs> what is it like to fly all the way out of here and uh, watch your team lose to the Baltimore Ravens? I say, I, it, it was cool. I had fun. I enjoyed the game. It was cool. <laughs> oh, you enjoyed your team losing? Get away from me. Move. So boom, we keep rocking. We keep chilling. We keep chilling. They everybody buying me drinks. She finds out what I was drinking. So she comes, she, she said, you know what? You're a fucking good sport, man. Here. Gave me a drink. I said, oh shit. Bet. Got another drink. I, I'm in the hole. 
I mean, that bitch chilling. I'm, I'm bitch. I'm damn, nigga. Baltimore like that. <laughs> Baltimore, goddamn. But then, so one of the guys that, that, that invited me to, yo, he put me to the side. He says, yo ass a bucket. No, I'm not. Cause listen, I'm finna tell you. Bruh, easy book. No, I'm not. Cause listen, I'm gonna look. Hear me out. I'm hit. I hit. No. So one of the guys, that nigga say, he, he come to me. He put his hand on my shoulder. He said, listen, bro. Bro, anytime. I'm telling you, bro. Anytime you come to Baltimore, bro. You come to games. We'll go together, bro. This this, this is fucking amazing. You guys, your, your future, your team is good, bro. And then, so Shorty tried to talk to me again. I'm like, yeah, all right, homie. He said, bro, and that, yo, her over there, bro, if you wanted to, you could fucking rail her, bro. I'm telling you right now, you can fucking rail her, bro. She's been on your dick as soon as you came in here, bro. You can fucking rail her. And I started laughing. I said, ha! I'm like, I can't, I can't replicate my laugh, nigga. But I started laughing hard as fuck. I say, I say, bro, I can rail her, bro. I, first of all, I've never heard no nigga saying, bro, you can fucking rail her, bro. So, <laughs> I'm laughing like a motherfucker, bro. And I was I said, I said, nah, bro, I don't think I want to do it, bro. I think I'm okay. I'm okay, bro. But then, but then he said, bro, I'm telling you, bro. Bro, she's been on your dick, bro. I think she wants some chocolate thunder. She wants some what? I'm sorry, nigga. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I beg your part. I beg your part. <laughs> oh my god! Ah, I said, "What the fuck?" I <laughs> hey, bro. I was kind of getting a little tizzy. I said, "What the fuck, nigga? Some what?" <laughs> ah, oh my god! Nigga, I started. I was like, "I'm telling ass boy, get on, nigga." So I'm just laughing, nigga. But then after that, I was like, nah, I'm being honest with you, bro. She can't get nothing from me. So the, the new nickname, absolutely not, nigga. So I was like, listen, bro, she can't get nothing from me. I'm good, bro. I'm fine, bro. So then uh, after that, bro, we just kept chilling and we just talking about shit. I learned about who the fuck they are. They asked me to come back to Baltimore to be on a podcast. They do a podcast. I was like, shit, let me know whenever y'all want me to do it, bro. If I, if I can find some time, I'll fucking go out there and do the podcast. I ain't tripping on it. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on everything. You ex get your ass out here. Um, after that, I called my Uber, nigga. I called my Uber. I go home. My Uber driver, me and her, she started talking. She found out from Texas. She know my ass. Uh, she was like, oh, shit, I fucking love Houston, yada, 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 whatever. I get to my room. That's when I realized, nigga. I think I had too much liquor. I was in that bitch drunk. And I got to my room, I was like, hold on. God damn, hold on. <laughs> I said, God damn, what the fuck? <laughs> I ain't no kill. It's like as soon as I as soon as I swipe my card in my room, I say, oh shit. How many of them Jack and Cokes I had? <laughs> Bro realized he was fucked up, nigga. You hear me? And then the problem is people started calling me. And it's people that like, I'm not trying to fuck up no situations with. So I know I'm low key starting to get drunk. Like the liquor starting to hit me. I'm like, I don't want to say nothing crazy to you. Let me go on here. I'll say, listen, hey, let me, hold on. Let me call, I'm gonna call you back in five minutes. Bro, my drunk ass got in the shower, nigga. I got in the shower. I said, bro, I gotta get right. <laughs> hey, I was a boss about drunk shit. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm in the whole life. Oh shit, I gotta get right, bro. Get right. God damn, nigga. Damn. But then after that, bro, that was it. Like, I, uh, I sit and I chilled. I ordered me some food for the night. Um, Talked to a few people on the phone, and I left early in the morning, bro. Uh, that I don't think I got no other stories from Baltimore. That's my whole experience, man. I enjoyed my trip, bro. Baltimore, y'all will see me again, bro. I would not mind going to another game. Unfortunately, the Texans play y'all again next year, but y'all come to Houston. So, um... I'm pretty sure Houston gonna show y'all niggas the same love y'all showed me though, 100%, bro. <coughs> I will be going to that game too. <clears throat> Let me see. Texans, opponents. Oh, the Baltimore niggas also let me know. They let me know. 
which teams to not go to games? They said, listen, bro. They said, bro, honestly, you pick one of the best towns to go to. Raven fans, we chill. They said, but I'm telling you right now, there are certain cities don't go. I said, where? What cities? They say, stop dick eating. Boy, fuck you, boy. I'm coming. Hit me up. Hey, Sticks, Sticks, follow me on Twitter and uh, DM me. I got you. So, boom. The niggas was like, they was like, listen, Steelers, Steelers fans, if you go to that game, it's kind of iffy. It's kind of iffy. Never. He said, there's two teams I'm going to tell you to never go to. He said, one, never go to a Philadelphia Eagles game. I swear to God. Swear to God. Boy, I say, never go to a Philadelphia Eagles game. That boy said, those motherfuckers up there, bro, like, you go to that game, they're going to house you. Ah, uh -huh, your mother's not shit. Your mom's a slut. He was like, <laughs> that boy said, that boy said, God damn, motherfucker. I'm just trying to watch the fucking game. I pay money for these tickets. What the fuck? And I was like, I said, God damn. I said, you know what? I get it though. I get it. And then he said the number one spot, that nigga say, never. And I repeat, never. Never go to a Cleveland Browns game. That nigga say, whatever you do, don't go to a Cleveland Browns game. That boy said, those motherfuckers up there are miserable, man. Those motherfuckers are miserable. And I understand that you're living in Cleveland, but fuck. I'm just trying to watch a game, bro. I'm just trying to watch a fucking game. And I was like, you know what? I believe him. <laughs> I fucking believe him. I, so I don't know if I'm going to go to a fucking Cleveland, to a Cleveland Browns game. But who knows? I might, I might, I might um, make up my own goddamn opinion and then just go. But 